What's up guys? So I figured I'd do a video on investing in real estate and just pull out some of my personal experience of buying rentals and renovating them because this is the first of me and I'm learning as I go. Uh, I've been in the trades for about nine years and I do all of my remodeling. Um, and the last house we bought, we did the roof a complete tear off, but we hired a company because I'm not doing a roof by myself. So um, the roof was like 15,000. It's a brand new complete tear off, brand new OSB, the receiver shake. Um, so what's, what's my biggest lesson has been time and value so I owned a construction company uh, four years ago before I went to boot camp I closed it and uh, I didn't value my time as much as I do now because me working on my own rental properties and not getting paid to do the work is possibly the toughest thing I ever did in my life so when when I had my business it's easy you go estimate get the material do the job get paid easy nothing to it but when you're designing buying stuff deciding if you want to buy good stuff mediocre stuff expensive stuff because it's a rental it gets crazy real quick because you have no homeowner checking on you you have no one saying oh good job you have no help and you're just losing twice the amount of money because you're not getting paid for your services and you're not making money on rent so that's called the holding phase holding costs so how much money do I need per month to pay my bills and survive and just live now you got that and then you got all the material and all the time that you're wasting when you could be working at a customer's house so I definitely I'm not gonna lie I've been super stressed out super 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 stressed out but I needed this to happen like I value my my time so much that I, I never would have if I never went through this experience like I don't care I don't play games with no one anymore I get straight to the point I charge for my estimates I don't do um, I'm not driving an hour anymore to give an estimate an hour back just just for a just in case or as much as social media has helped us contractors so much it also helped homeowners a lot or you could say the other way bad so the new thing is get three to four estimates and then pick the lowest one which is wrong information because the lowest bidder is not going to be Give you the best quality job and that's why you guys have problems with contractors taking your money and never coming back because yeah they are going to be the crackheads are going to be the cheapest price the cheapest price so um i now like if someone refers me like someone that i done work for before refers me and they tell me that i won't go charge that person i'll just do it for the fact like i had I had my realtor send me some work and it was all the way in Niagara Falls which was a 45 minute drive I was there for an hour it was a whole house drywall flooring trim it was a complete reno renovation job and I didn't charge because the referral was a good referral and I don't want to be you know oh you didn't tell me your referral was gonna charge so but like if it's someone just got my number randomly I'm charging so I I needed that to happen um I'm charging $60 an hour before I never charge that and that's that's not a lot that's cheap but um since I'm not legit right now I'm charging that price but once I go legit after I'm done with the rentals then the price will be going up all right so um so like I said you got it's tough man so me and my girlfriend we were going over yesterday how much we need to renovate the other two apartments um so this is another thing as it depends what you want to do 
if there's so many like the Burr method, it's buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. So depending if you want to go that route of buy and hold or if you're going to buy and flip to get quick money, depending on what you want to do, you want to like, for example, I'm doing buy and holds. I don't want to, um, you know, get rich real quick overnight. I want the long term wealth. So you have to sit back and think, OK, do I want to buy MDF trim, which is good for one time use? Uh, it's, it doesn't hold up well to damage, so it's not good for tenants. Um, my house that I'm currently renovating right now it has all real wood trim, so it's lasted. It's held up over the past, well, probably my house was built in the 1920s, so 100 years it's lasted well. So we took it down, we sanded it down to bare wood, stained it in polyurethane, it, and it's reusable. Um, so on the next house for the two units I need about if I was to match that thickness of trim the um, five and a quarter with the casing all real wood it would be thirty six hundred dollars just for wood so I reuse that on this house and I save thirty six hundred so you got to think about the future and what you want to do um, my current house had all updated windows I only had to replace six of them so this house i gotta replace i think it was um 22 of them so that's four thousand dollars right there like there's stuff quality stuff the house the house had all brand new windows but it, the four that were there or the six were garbage quality and they all needed replacing so i went and put the best top of the line windows that i could buy in there because i'm gonna own the house for the next 40 years all brand new drains, all brand new plumbing, everything brand new, insulation, everything brand new. So I don't have to worry about it when I'm 40, 50 because I know it's going to last. My my renovations are top notch. So this is stuff that people don't think about that I think they need to think about when they're renovating. So people that flip houses, they go as cheap and pretty as possible. They do not care about it lasting anything. And that's where people mess up buying flipped houses. So you want to buy homeowned house, homeowned houses. So um, I think that's really about it um, as far as as much as I, I learned. So you want to figure out your monthly costs. Not a lot of people do what I do who I don't like my three car garage. I did the roof by myself. I could handle that. I'm not going to do a whole house by myself, a whole house three stories in the air i'm not doing it by myself but a garage i'll do so um but not a lot of people who are investing in uh, real estate are doing the work themselves they're just putting up the money and making decisions on choices and finishes and that's really about it so um but if you're in my shoes as a contractor then this video will be of help to you so yeah